So within every single iPhone out there, there is a cap on basically everything. But I will tell you with the maximizing of volume, you can actually go through and pretty much maximize the volume of your iPhone in a couple different ways. Now, the first thing I would recommend doing as always is to, if you're watching a movie, if you're watching sound, just go ahead and increase your system sound as high as possible by clicking the volume up button here, or what you can do if for some reason that's not working, swipe down from the top right, and grab your sound bar that's right here, and increase the sound bar as high as you can. Doing things like that can probably be the main way you can go through and actually you know, increase the maximum volume of your specific iPhone. Also, if you're watching a certain application or if you're inside a certain app, there may be certain system applications within those specific things that you have to basically increase the volume of anyway. So it's not always, but usually the you know, sounds and things that you use are using you know, your system sound. But if there is a box that shows the volume, go ahead and increase that as much as you can. And that's another thing I'd probably recommend looking into. Now, if you're specifically using certain applications like Apple Music or maybe some other certain system apps, what you can always try doing is actually changing the EQ level of your iPhone. And I've seen this time and time again, and I'd highly recommend you doing this as well. So what I'd recommend doing is going inside of your iPhone application, your iPhone systems app, just like this. And what I'd recommend doing is scrolling down until you see a little option that says Apple Music. So keep scrolling down until you see music, which is right here. And what I'd recommend doing here is scrolling down until you see EQ. So click on EQ. Now, from what I used to see, loudness was usually the one I thought that would probably be the loudest one, but that is now changed apparently to late night. So if you change your specific EQ level to this late night option, what's going to happen is, is that this is actually going to switch over. And now what's going to happen is anytime you actually go ahead and use your EQ level here, you should be able to go ahead and basically change you know, your Apple Music, at least within the music application. You should now be able to see a louder sound and louder increase in volume via the late night EQ over the one that you were probably using before. So that's another really cool thing that you have the capability of doing here. That's another thing I recommend looking into as well. So those are pretty much the main ways to go and increase the you know, stock volume of your iPhone via your, you know, if you want to increase the volume of your iPhone, this is basically how to do it as far as I can tell. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.